Right everyone, welcome back to here. Right, I thought I would do a video on bug out bags, but specifically ones for family members who don't prep or do any kind of preparation for emergencies. So this isn't necessarily for true shit hit the fan type situation, but literally anything where you may need to leave your house. That could be multiple things, it could be a gas leak in your road. It could even be a nutter in your road that's doing something that the, the, the road gets evacuated. Um, floods, fires, doesn't even have to be in the UK. Anywhere in the world, this kind of bag would be handy for the people who don't prepare. I've got four of these for the four family members I live with who don't have a bug out bag. You know, I've got an inch bag, bug out bag, medium bug out bag, small bug out bag, large bug out bag for different situations. They don't have anything. So with the stuff I had extra, I've made four of these bags for them and I'm going to show you what I've done. And we can discuss what could be added, maybe taken out. I think everything in here is adequate and it's very basic. It is just so, if they do have to leave the house and maybe can't come back for a while, this would be very, very, very helpful. And I think I, if I had this bag and it was all I had, it, it would make me a lot more comfortable. There's one thing missing in here that I don't have. It's just because I haven't got them yet. Actually, I have got them, but I've mislaid them. And they are some survival blankets. You know, the foil blankets. 100% I would have a foil blanket in each of these, but I just can't find mine at the minute, so I'm going to have to buy some more. So, this is one of the bags. Literally any bag will do. This is a gas mask bag. You can get these for about a fiver. And it's a nice size. Um, <clears throat> and obviously being this size, the bag isn't too heavy either. Now, you would need to carry other stuff with this, which I'll go over in a second. Um, these are the things that people wouldn't normally think about taking, or wouldn't have if they're not prepared for it. So, I'll show you in a minute. So, what I've also done, because each bag is for a different person, I've got a little label on the front. So, this would be my mum's bag. And it tells her to add her phone and charger, medication, water and food, money and purse, and any other small items she may need. <clears throat> now, I will eventually staple that on there so it won't come off. And the other thing I want to do is add some instructions inside, because also there are items in here that they may not think of using in the way that I would. And I'm going to print that out eventually. And I might, if you're interested, in the description, when I eventually do it, or just ask me, I'll have that so you can print it out as well. Um, if you want to copy this. So yeah, that would be connected on there, permanently. As for food, that would be up to them what they grab. But, I also make, for the family, 24 hour ration packs that they could grab. And those ration packs, I've got videos of that. They're really easy to make, and I make them out of household things. Um, mainly just what I can find around the house. But you can buy the stuff, and you can buy it very cheaply. So anyway, that's that. That will eventually have full instructions. So let's go through the bag, and I'll show you what's in there. So as mentioned, this is a very basic bag, and it's just to make sure that people are comfortable, the people who wouldn't be prepared. So I've got in here, I'll just go through what I find first. So we've got... Some matches and a striker there. You can get a little box of matches if you want that as well. I had a big box that I had to separate into four different peoples. So there's the striker in a separate bag and the matches there. So we've got matches. A good permanent way to light a fire. Because lighters are good. Lighters often run out of gas when they've been sat about. It leaks out. So a lighter is good. There is a lighter in here. But matches tend to just last longer. This is a little box of what we call plasters in the UK, band-aids in America. There's not just band-aids in there though, there's some large dressings, some rubber gloves, plasters, so that is basically a little first aid kit, basic first aid kit. If you can get a little box like that, pack it with quite a few different first aid items, and there's a little bandage, gloves, stuff like that. Again, very handy. Here we've got a little small hygiene kit which consists of some 
body soap. So you can have like a shower, wash your hair. Um, hand sanitizer, which is good for cleaning obviously, but you don't need to dry yourself. And that in that one is washing up liquid, so you can clean your pots, because there's pots in here as well. They're in a separate bag because these can get damaged. I had one of these in one of these bags and the lid was snapped off, but luckily it didn't really coat everything. So yeah, make sure you put these in a different bag so if they leak, it stays in the bag. <clears throat> this is a little patrol combat ration pack um, knife fork spoon set. You can get these for about 50p I think. And then there's quite handy little things to chuck in these things. If you go on places like Prepper Shop, you can, and maybe, I don't know if the, the Bug Up Shop does this kind of stuff or not, but they do some really good stuff as well. These little things are just really good little ready-made packs of stuff that you can make your own rations and Bug Up bags with. So this one has knife, fork, spoon, tissues, sterilising tablets, wet wipes and a resealable bag. So you've basically got a... Um, eating kit there but because these are made of plastic I have put in some better stuff as well but yeah there's that so you can you've got your utensils and stuff to sort of clean up when you eat we've got a flannel in there so that you can clean yourself dry yourself you'd be surprised how much you can dry yourself with a little flannel like that pen knife this is a legal carry pen knife um, I think that would be a very handy thing to have in one of these bags. Seeing it as a bug out situation, you could probably put a lock knife in there as well, or even a fixed blade, put a mower in there or something. But what I've got in mind, just so they're legal, is some legal carry pen knife. This is just a little Swiss Army pen knife. Very good little tool. I have got a joke book in there. Each of mine have got some of these joke books. Just because you may be sat around bored shitless, so why not have a book or something like that to keep you entertained and there's a couple of other things in in these bags I don't know about this one but in the other bags one person's got some dominoes one person's got a set of cards one person's got a radio so because all these people would be together anyway these people would not be separated um, you know unless they had to be but as far as they're aware, they're going to be together. So they could all use these things. Yeah, and I also stuck a, a joke book in there. Just as a bit of entertainment. Flashlight. Make sure you put batteries in there with it and spare batteries. One thing I am going to do with the batteries of this, I'm going to take the batteries out and put them in a separate bag. Um, so that they don't degrade in the flashlight. There's various lights you can get. I've put lanyards on the ones I can. Some of the torches I've got in the bags are AAA so they're easier to you know put spare batteries in. This one's a rechargeable 18650. In the bag is also the wire to charge it. Make sure the batteries are charged as well. This is a little plastic box. This is good for eating out of and also storing cooked food or whatever in it. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a good little bowl to eat out of and keep stuff in, basically. In this, I've got some of the random stuff in there. So, there's the charging wire for the torch. And also, we've got in there a bit of twine, a bit of sort of rope, and some cloves uh, pegs. So that if they get wet, they could at least put this line up, hang their clothes up, let them dry. Uh, I just It's just a little extra that I think could be nice. Because when I went away with my friend Metallic, there was days when we needed to dry our clothes and it was very handy having a little washing line. And also that could be used for other things. You could probably use that in conjunction with your um, survival blanket. To make a little shelf if you have to. So in here are some pots. Now I've tried to provide a decent amount of pots for each person but obviously not too many as well. So what I wanted originally was a bigger pot to cook in and eat out of 
but now I've added the little Tupperware pot. So you cook and boil your water in this, but you've also got a smaller one to potentially boil water to make a cup of tea or coffee. So you've got basically a big bowl to cook in and a smaller one to drink out of. But I did add, but I wasn't sure. Now I am going to get some actual metal cups, but I did just chuck in some paper cups just because they would be a good backup to drink out of. Literally weigh nothing. So there you've got your cooking pot, your cup, and a couple of other cups just in case that you might be boiling water in that, cooking in that, and you may want to drink out of that. To actually cook with, and I may replace these with something else, I made some buddy burners. I think these are called buddy burners. And these are part of a can, this is a beer can. I folded the edges over. You then roll corrugated um, cardboard inside it and you cover it in wax and then you can light that and it burns for quite a while. You should be able to cook on that quite a few times. And it's got like a couple of little bits sticking up like a wick. So there's your cooking method. I think a hexamine stove thing might be even better, but there are various small little things that you can use. One other thing I do need to add though, <clears throat> it's not in this one, all of these need a grill um, added to it, um, so that you can just get a couple of bricks or anything that will raise up higher than the cooker, and you put your pot on it, because at the minute there isn't anything like that, but I have got that stuff on a list to do very soon couple of candles there. Now these are just random candles that I found. That's a tea light. And I can't remember where these came from, but I've had these for years in a, in, in sort of bug out bags. Um, yeah, candles. So you can see what you're doing basically. We've got a little sponge there and scourer to cook your pots out with. There's your lighter. Refillable lighter. Spare batteries for the radio, which is there. This is a little sort of travel radio. I bet you could get these cheap as anything now. Um, yeah, it's got a clock on it. Very basic radio, but does the job. And then you could hear emergency broadcasts potentially. But yeah, I bet you could get something like these travel radios for nothing nowadays. Got another cloth there for cleaning things, drying things. Some toilet roll there, some more water purification tablets. Now I've probably overdone this with the knife, fork, spoon sets <laughs> because we've already got them in that pack I showed you. But I've also got an actual metal knife, fork, spoon there because they'll last a lot longer. And I've even chucked in another bloody couple of plastic ones and a straw there. And then the only other thing I've got in there is one of these little tins. This was a fire starting tin originally, but this has got a sewing kit in it and a couple of other items. So in here we've got what we call in the UK cotton wool. And then you've got a pencil in there, some buttons, some safety pins, some cleaning pads, some plasters. So we do have a small kit in here, like a first aid kit. We've also got some eye hooks there, um, a rubber there, an eraser for your pencil, a key ring, and a little notepad in there. So just a couple of little things. I've got some quite big needles in there as well for um, if they need sewing. And each of the boxes have got these. There's some thread there. So yeah. That's the stuff I've got in these. As I say, they are just very basic items for the people in your house who will not be preparing for this kind of situation. I think it's well worth having these, and I think if it came to it and they had this stuff, they'd be very grateful. You would add water, get a couple of litres of water or whatever, um, grab some food, tins, or grab a ration pack. Um, phone charger, money purse, all the sort of basic things you'd have anyway but with a bit of added food and water uh, yeah and I think they'd be very comfortable with that and ideally the um, 
a survival blanket as well because if you're cold you know you're really gonna feel it so you can wrap one of those around you but as far as I'm aware that's that's a good that's a good basis I think I think it's a very good basis and I would be happy with that so yeah let me know what you think um, that's a, a, there may be one or two other things you could add I don't know because you've got to remember some things are personal to individuals as well. that's why you have the other notes these are the things that everyone could do with but yeah you could have a reminder on the list for women to bring sanitary products stuff like that um, or if you've got a child with you the baby stuff you know what I mean but yeah um, I think that's a very good basis and lots of things could be added but I wouldn't go mad if I was you because these are people who you know, probably ain't really even going to want to carry this stuff so you want to keep it light <laughs> you know what I mean so yeah alright I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it helpful, hope it went too long. Uh, let me know what you think, don't leave a comment, like the video, share it if you know somewhere where people might want to watch it. And definitely subscribe, I do a lot of videos like this and I do a lot of weapon related stuff as well. Alright, cheers for watching everyone, see you later.